morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio, so today we need to have a chat about Bianca, because Bianca's totally coming back. We have been looking at the reveal lately of the next Japanese set, Wild Force and Cyber Judge, that I totally don't occasionally get the wrong way around, and there's something else which we've not had a chance to talk about yet, that we definitely need to have a chat about. And that is the fact that there is, well, there's an accessory set coming over in Japan, and this tells us that we are getting Bianca back. Now, exactly what's gone and been announced is the Bianca, what are we actually getting? There are sleeves, deck box, and playmat. There we go. And they're going to be sold at Pokemon centers, etc. And it's going to be released on the 26th of January 2024. Which, of course, is extremely relevant because the 26th of January 2024 is the release date of Cyber Judge and Wild Force. And put simply, no, it's not a coincidence. We've been talking about this a lot. I show you all the new merch and stuff that Japan releases on this channel. Videos aren't always quite as popular as I think they should be, but I show it to you anyway because I get excited talking about them. And I mean, just to give you an example, the last thing I kind of went all in on was Mousehold. Now, I will admit I didn't quite go all in. I didn't get the playmat, but I did get the sleeves and the deck box because they are amazing. Why did Mousehold get sleeves and a deck box and a playmat? Well, nice and simply because there was a Mousehold EX. It really was as simple as that. The Japanese set had a Mousehold EX in, and that meant that we got ourselves Mousehold merch. And we, we see this all the time. This is a very standard thing. We're talking, of course, about Future Flash and Ancient Roar as it was over in Japan. We, we see this all the time. This is incredibly standard. Japan gets a new set, and then they get a bunch of merch. But essentially, the merch is tied to the set. And we see this over and over again. Merch that comes out on the same day as a set over in Japan has a tie to the set. Now, we do occasionally see something a little bit different, but they're always slightly different in terms of release date. So we had a bunch of gym leader stuff from Paldea, like for instance, the Larry sleeves or the Rika sleeves or the Paldea trainers deck box. Yeah, this is what I chose to get from that particular range. Because I, when I keep telling you I'm going to get all this stuff, I really do. It's amazing, cool stuff. I love it. But the point is that wasn't tied to a set. But it also wasn't released on the same day as a set, so that made perfect sense. Stuff that comes out on the same day as a set is tied to the set. So when we're getting Bianca Sleeves, Deck Box and Playmat releasing on the 26th of January, same day as Wild Force and Cyber Judge, yes, that actually does tell us that we are getting Bianca back. And honestly, at this stage, I'm giving it about a 99% chance or more that this is telling us we're getting Bianca back. This isn't some crazy prediction nobody could have made. This is one of those ones where it's actually quite an easy prediction. If you follow the Pokemon TCG very closely in Japan, and I do follow the Pokemon TCG very closely in Japan, this is one of those ones that's just really obvious. Merch is confirmed. It's confirmed to be coming on the same day as the set. We are getting Bianca in the set. Now, as always, I need to let you know that technically there is a chance we don't. I don't think there's a realistic chance that we don't. However, just for, you know, sake of clarity, yes, it is possible that there isn't Bianca. It is possible that for the first time in a very long time, they just give us a random gym leader bunch of merch on the same day as a set release and by coincidence a gym leader is not in the set i don't actually think that's realistic or likely in the least however i do need to tell you that it is technically possible but we're clearly getting bianca back so with all of that born in mind how happy are we to have bianca back Bianca, of course, initially came around in Emerging Powers, which actually takes us all the way back to August 2011. That means we're reprinting it 12 years later. Well, 12 years and a bit, actually. This is going to be our February set, maybe March, if we copy like last year and have a March set like we did for Scarlet and Violet. And so 
really you're looking at nearer 12 and a half years. Now, there was a full art of Bianca that came around in Boundaries Crossed, and it did actually get an alternate art reprint in Legendary Treasures in November 2013, which was only a decade ago. As a side note, Legendary Treasures is one of those sets. It was it was largely a reprint set, and it was one of those ones that people kind of hated at the time, and it kept being given out as prize support at events, and people were really angry. But my local game store kept this in stock, actually for somehow, I don't know how, but they managed to keep this in stock for years, because it sold really well to kids, because it was a special set that had really good pull rates of EXs and shiny things, and yeah. All I'm going to say is go and try and buy a box of Legendary Treasures now. Go and buy a box for a decent price. If this was given out as price support today for a tournament, that tournament would be ridiculously popular because it would be a very, very, very lucrative tournament to win. Hey-ho, you can't win them all. But the point is, Bianca has come around a couple of times in the past. We had Bianca, we had the full art a little bit later, and then we went and got ourselves an alternate art reprint. And Bianca was cool. And Bianca did actually see a bit of play. Now, we're not talking staple in every deck or anything stupid like that, but we are talking about a decent amount of play. Now, the card, what it actually does is let you draw until you've got six cards in your hand. So the idea here is essentially twofold. Either you have a deck that can empty out your hand, and then essentially this becomes a straight draw six, which is brilliant. Or you're playing something like a stage two deck. Now, I'm not saying you have to play this as stage two decks. I'm saying that it did see play in some stage two decks when it was legal before. Because, I mean, let's take Charizard as an example, yeah? You need to hit, well... It's either Candy Charizard or Candy with your Pidgeot. And honestly, a lot of the time you want Pidgeot first, because obviously Pidgeot lets you search for any card once during your turn. So a lot of the time, you, well, most of the time, honestly, you go for Pidgeot first, and then Pidgeot gets you towards your Charizard. There are some times where you really need to take a big KO now, etc., etc. Generally, you go Pidgeot, then Charizard. But the point is, you need the combination of Rare Candy and the Stage 2. So what you do with Bianca is you empty out your hand as much as you can. And honestly, the ideal scenario here is that you get your hand down to one card. And that one card is a rare candy. And then you draw five. But you just need to get your stage two or a card that will allow you to get the stage two. And then all of a sudden, you've got the stage two in play. It's not the only time it saw play, but that is one way it saw play. And actually, in that regard, this is a very cool card. And I don't think this being released will instantly see it popped into a bunch of decks. I don't think that's going to happen. What I absolutely do think is that this being released will see some play. And some decks will absolutely love it. But what about counter-arguments? Does Bianca getting a merch line on the same day mean Bianca is getting a card in the set? Almost certainly, I'm calling it 99% just in case something super weird happens, but I'm certain. Does it mean we're getting a reprint of Bianca? No. It might, but it might not. Like, let's take Corinna as an example. Corinna was a really fun card back in... Well, you actually, actually go back quite a way here. But we got Corinna in Furious Fists, a card I absolutely adored. Search for a fighting Pokemon and an item card. And we did get a new Corinna in Battle Styles. Yeah, completely different card. Fun fact, and there's a reason I'm using Corinna as an example here. Corinna was literally Bianca. Like, it's the exact same card. Now, maybe that's an argument for Bianca coming back as a different card here. Because we've literally just had that card. Now, it will actually be rotating, well, weirdly, on the same day the Bianca comes, whatever it is, on the same day that Bianca becomes legal for tournament play, Corinna will actually rotate out. Corinna's focus will be rotating the day Bianca becomes legal, so it would be kind of weird to pass the torch. And I know at this stage, some of you are thinking, well, hang on a second, Wossy. You're telling us how good this card is. Well, we, we've had it for a while. And honestly, the most play Corinna has seen is, well, 
because it can be searched with octillery. And outside of octillery decks, we've had it for stuff like Charizard and it hasn't really been seeing play up to now. Yeah, absolutely fair point. I'm telling you it's a card that has seen play in the past and it has even as Corinna. And I'm telling you that it does serve some niches in the game. But yes, absolutely, it is completely fair to point out that as it stands at the moment, yeah, we, we've had it for a while and it's not been seeing a huge amount of play. But all it takes is a slight shift in the way people play or some other cards that come out that might support it or hurt other supporters and make us not want to play them or whatever, and we're good. If you want an example of why it could just be a straight reprint, Skylar. Skylar did the whole straight reprint thing. We, we had it back in the day in the black and white era starting in Boundaries Crossed. And then I got a random reprint in Rebel Clash as a just straight reprint. Exactly like it was before. So, honestly, I can't tell you one way or the other. It could go the Corinna route here. Character comes back, but the card is completely different. Or it could go the Skylar route here, which is card comes back, it's exactly the same. I wish I could tell you which one of those it was going to be. Would be awesome if I could. I can't, frankly. Sorry about that. But what I can tell you is that we are getting it back, and that is honestly pretty cool. But now I want to hear from you guys. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me how excited you are for the return of Bianca. Or if you're excited at all, it is fair to say that actually, you know what, we'll see. It is a card that is just about to rotate and not seeing much play. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games. All kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Andy White who's been a supporter of us for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to Andy for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.